Hi guys, so I've used all my knowledge I have from building Arch Linux and I've put i3 on Linux Mint, you see it's right. So it's super simple. i3 is great. You, you take your file with you, your configuration file, and you move about. And that's in the previous video. This video is taking a look if I can create an i3 gaps because standard standard we don't have that sudo apt install i3 so what i was able to do standard out of the box is get i3 and it got i3 wm as well at your status as well and it got my d wm my d menu control d and fire and um, firefox has been installed but uh, i wanted to say and variety is kicking in here variety is installed we've already told Variety to get some new wallpapers from Wallhaven with the word abstract, the tag. And this is now again another wallpaper and again another wallpaper at the side here. So is it possible to make an i3 gaps? i3 gaps. i3. Oh my god, my number clock is not on. Now it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Google. P. Give me I3 caps. Oh, let's see. Yes, it's Airblader that I need. And then we read what is I3 gaps? It's a fork of I3. Okay, it's kept with upstream, etc. How to install? Wiki. In order to use gaps, okay, fine, blah, blah. So it's the wiki. How do I install? Installation, Arch Manjaro, Ubuntu. PPA is available, external or this one. Okay. Okay, adding this PPA to your system. Sudo apt repository, control alt C. Oof. I am on Linux Mint, but I am on i3. <laughs> I have my D menu. I don't know the names. So Linux something, Linux Mint something. No, they're not using Linux Mint things. Do they use Mint names? Mint backup, Mint drivers, Mint install. Mint install. Yeah. Mint release upgrade, refresh, mint menu, mint release, mint remove, mint update, mint stick. Mint stick is our USB um, driver that we use to burn all our 4000 ISOs that have been burning the last four years. They all work all the time. We have to choose. Nothing happens. <laughs> mint drivers, mint drivers, mint install, mint sources maybe. These things can be launched. Ah. I have probably Okay, so do it is at ah simple. It's even simpler. You need to just copy paste it in the lines. So these are commands, not the. So basically, it's going in there. Hey, Control C, Control Shift V. Don't tell me I have to type everything. <laughs> Add, apt, repository, PPA, Gilmer, speed, <laughs> speed riser. Okay. Please enter to continue. Done that. Aha, the keys work in this environment. In March, we have problems at this point in time. It's July 2021. And we hope they will go away, the problems. Update. Ah. 
et voilà. So we have added the repo. It has been signed with the public key. So this is what the advice is on the internet currently. To use the key server hkps keyserver.com and 443 or 80 or nothing as port. But even then I get problems, so whatever, right? You've let to let it go, let it go. So now I must have something. Ah yeah. So let's quickly have a look at the min sources again. Da -da 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 -da. There they are, right? That's the music of Puppy's power. I grew up with that. So I want to not opt get thingy. No, I just want to apt install i3 something. I've got i3 gaps now, you see it? i3 gaps. There is more. Caps, caps, caps. I'm probably gonna install the rest of it as well. Yeah. I3 caps session, I3 caps WM. Is he not going to say this is going to conflict with that one? No? Nope. No complications. Okay. All right, i3 has been replaced by i3 gaps without us telling him do so. Ah yeah, up here it says the following packages will be removed, i3, i3wm. So there's no interaction for the user anyway. So in Pac-Man it's yes or no. Here it's, we'll do it for you. Voila, not a bad idea to do that by default. Guys of Arch. So, I3 cap. Yes. What did I do? I changed in previous video the settings because otherwise it would crash. And the setting, super F for gaps, is at the bottom. Gaps inner five, gaps outer five safe super q super shift r i've got my gaps awesome this is getting better and better all right this is just getting too crazy i'm trying to do something here see if i can change something no I'll see. Yeah, that's gonna need something. Let's see if that's available. sudo apt install. Hmm, no. We'll always be, we always have packages that are not available. Like the one I used to want always is, well, used to, I still want it. But the thing is, you need to do SMX something extra for it, like sudo apt install Spotify. I don't get any money for saying this here. So super F2, I'm gonna navigate to Spotify, Linux, Spotify on Linux. Snap install Ubuntu software. That's better. Okay. Is this not gonna ah oh, snap Spotify? It's going to snap then. Uh, we had an, a package. Huh? We had a package on here. Software sources? Nah. Yep. I think we need to launch something to 
tell them that the poll kit is, is present because I always have to type otherwise. Pseudo. No, not that thing. Let me go back to, and we need to exit as well. Now we exit this way. Hey, my window. Ctrl Alt F, Ctrl Alt F. Ah, that's better. 1920 and 1080. Um, what was I thinking? I was thinking about installing software. That's this icon, huh? And then Spotify. Awesome. Hmm. Which one? I'm not a fan of FlatHub and all that because of the fact that the icons are rubbish then. Oh, that's awesome. That's a major improve improvement. It is. And yeah, Bluetooth was also one of the issues at the time. But we're on a virtual machine. And um, no. No, we can't really test it out anyway. Spotify is working. Awesome. Sublime Text is there as well. Maybe you've missed that in other videos. I've got that working as well. Sublime Text. Vivaldi maybe. Am I ready to switch? Yes, I am. <laughs> ah, oh my god. Ah. Vivaldi, where are you? I take my words back. All right, Ale, how would we install Vivaldi on this thing? How would we install Vivaldi? Linux Mint Vivaldi. Let's see. Apt, add Vivaldi, app repository, install it. That's what I hated about all these, about uh, this way of working. And I love about AOR. It's just there. Pacower or Picower or we used to have, what else? Uh, Yaourt and now we have Yay, Trizen, Baru. But this is what I need to do. Always really gonna build it, or is it not? Signing keys and all that. It's gonna install packages, gonna get a depth folder, depth file thing, it's gonna add that, install that. Oh my god, I'm tired already. And then it's installed. Anything else? That's a copy paste of the other guy. Or is it the same? It's the same, Eric. This seems a little bit shorter. <laughs> Basically, I need to be able to copy paste, otherwise, copy, control T. We have um, terminal of GNOME. Is that transparent? I always like my terminals to be transparent. It is, but I can't click it. <laughs> okay. Not green, but 
And this then. Hmm. All right, bold colors, cursor color, highlight color, this, I don't know, uh, that's why. Voila, I'm happy. No, I'm not. In general, don't want the menu bar. And I don't want it to limit me. Limit scroll back, no limit. Scroll bar, don't need it. Control T, much nicer. So, installing Vivaldi. Are you? Yes, I am. Okay. Sign the package. Yes, I'm gonna sign with the key. Control C. A little sound when I put it on the to the border. Now we're gonna add the sources. Where can you find it? In that particular repo, my friend. Uh, All right, and then this one will just type up updates. So we're getting the due. Let's take a look at the lines. So repository Spotify is there. R repo of Vivaldi is there. You see, that's where. That's how he knows. Ah, oh, I can now install. So this was still okay. This was not too difficult. Let's be honest. And what I did back then is put these lines in scripts. So I, after a Linux Mint installation, I just run all the app repositories and they're, they're putting dumped in there. And then you say update, and then you say Vivaldi Sublime takes Spotify. I used to have a long list of all the applications that needed a proper, uh, its own repository. And then uh, you're good to go. So I've got myself Vivaldi, yay. Vivaldi working and fine. Ah, yeah, Vivaldi Codex. How do you play the videos? Pseudo Pacman, yeah, yeah. Install Vivaldi other stuff. Ah, there's a new one, the snapshot, the beta version, the last, last, last version, and a stable version. But what if I went to Vivaldi and I went to YouTube to the only channel that matters and we go to DistroTube almost clicked here thanks for supporting us um, DistroTube so I wanted to go to my own of course and know that what particular all right it's working just fine so whatever is on this machine it knows my codec that's something i want to check and this is the last one yeah sorry guys but three two one skip ads skip trial no it's all working good we have to install uh, things like if, if we want to watch netflix on there to add some extra stuff not sure if that's needed here as well so i have two browsers i can have, have of course chromium as well so you go ah. apt install chromium this is probably going to be there i wonder if is if google chrome is going to be there Control t so you know apt install Google something whoa <laughs> I can install 
Google Android build tool 17, 16, 12, 21. What's that? I'm not busy with Google Android stuff. So Google Chrome. I'm not typing now. Okay, sudo apt install Google Chrome. Not found. Same issue. Okay. Linux Mint and Google Chrome. We have to add again a Google Chrome. Where to find it? Method one is, I think, the most important one. This one. Uh, not with the dollar, of course. Control C. So we're getting that. The key is in. Then we're adding where. Control C. So shift V. Unexpected token. So this thing. Control C. Control shift V. Oh yeah, the poor thing. They probably never have tried it before. But it's cut off. So control C, control shift D, <gasps> control shift D doesn't work. Keyboard, keyboards, shortcuts, add custom shortcuts. D menu run, I think. Control Shift D. Yay, I've got my D menu back. So I was going to type in sublime text, sub, and copy paste. So that's the problem. It should be one line. Control C. I think I have moved, they moved my, my ass to another screen control alt arrow left up up this is left so i'm pressing control alt and then left button right button left button right button okay so and then here control shift v voila and then up a cache update at cache again Okay, sudo apt update. So you get the database in for this particular Google Chrome thing. It says here DL, download google.com, Linux Chrome Deb. So we're talking about Debs these times, Debian files. Sudo apt install Google something. We have more. Google Chrome, beta, stable, unstable, cloud printer connector, compute engine, Google Earth package. Oh, I wanna have that too. Google guest agent, Google mock, Google, oh my God, so many things to do. Hmm. Let's go for, since it's a virtual machine anyway, let's go for beta. Et voila. So much fun again to be here. The Warpinator, Warpinator, it's on AOR. I've tried it out, ah, didn't do its job. So I did not put it on my repos. But it's basically to send a, a file from one place to the other, from one computer to the other in your local network. And that's Samba, right? So fine, uh, we can live without this Warpinator thing. Cool Chrome Beta. No, whatever. 
voilà. Working as well. Anything else I would be missing? Let's have a look. Anything else I would be missing? And WPS Office. Time to time, I do need to edit a file. WPS. Okay, <laughs> we'll have to look for that. Um, so let's go back to Arclinks. So this is the menu of Arclinks, so you're not getting confused on what's happening now. GitHead, I'm using GitHead quite a bit. So you install GitHead. There is a lot of Git stuff, but this is too specific. There's GitG, that's something I can use. GitG, GitG GUI. Mm -hmm. Some GitLab stuff, I've never used. Okay, oops, not that one. What else would I be missing? Plain text. Steam, yeah, Steam. GIMP, GIMP and Inkscape, I would be missing those. But I would be very surprised if they're not just installable by a click of the button. I do like Nomax. I wonder if they have that one. I should have. I should have. In sync. This syncs my files to Google Drive. That's kind of my backup system. Dropbox as well. It's also a backup system. What was I saying? Nomax. Awesome, no max is there. Uh, this is a paid application, so that won't be available. But Dropbox might be. Megasync might be. No. So, you know. InSync is an important one. Linux Mint InSync for me then. Download Linux for download for Linux. Ubuntu 21.4. Okay, fine. Uh, download. Okay, okay. It's downloaded. It's there. We have no need of that. I've made an extra button up there. Now, how do I do a sudo pacman minus u? <laughs> right? <laughs> Install. Can I just say no? Can I say no? Um, local install. Ali, read. Nothing rings well. And what if I double click? Awesome! There must be some kind of command to do that as well. Maybe used to be a command apt uh, where is it aptitude or something like that aptitude lots of other things no forget new clean well it's installed that matters. <gasps> In here, of course, InSync is now booted up. Yeah, it's gonna work. Add Google Drive and off we go. Logging in all that. 
it's gonna work you see that's that's what I mean right whatever Linux system you use I'm happy you're using a Linux system right and if if if, if first of all if hardware works you're so glad already if hardware works and the Bluetooth works and the printing works and all the stuff and maybe the gaming works right then we're already super super happy hey zoom and whether it's on Linux Mint or on Arch pff, doesn't matter whoa zoom player I don't know if it's the same thing as zoom but we get all kinds of configured multiple times ah there are some some errors in Google Chrome Since we've added Google Chrome at some point in time, he says there's some doubles. Wow, that's a nice wallpaper. Awesome. That's just awesome. That's from Wellhaven Q6Q2E5.gpg. Go download it. Wow. How a wallpaper can change the look on your eh, desktop. Warpinator is still there quit one update available ah, Compton so we installed i3 on this thing and um, Compton is well Pykem we've oh sorry guys moment voila a friendly delivery boy done so the Google Chrome thingy the Google Chrome thingy is where can we fix that? Mm, preferences, software sources. It's crazy that all this knowledge is still there. So PPAs. No, I shouldn't have said that too soon. Ah, here it is. Google stable. There are doubles in here. And that's why he's complaining. So remove this one. Vivaldi, Spotify, Insync, Google. That's it. So, sudo apt upgrade. Well, nothing to do, no errors to see. Yo, it's a, has been quite an experience. I mean, it's 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 great, right? It's just a super 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 great thing. It's uh, it, it, it works with with system D. It works with Grub. It works with LightDM. And then we put into Linux Cinnamon, that's uh, the number 5, version 5. And we have lots of things, logs as well. I haven't looked, tried finding WPS, but I suppose it's available as well. Should we try? WPS Office, can we install that? Linux Mint WPS. Mm hmm Download button for Windows, for Mac, for Linux. Download. And what do we get then? <laughs> His handshaking. See at the bottom there. Don't think anything is happening. So, no, no downloads. He's trying to handshake with wcnzz.com. So, whatever, you keep just keep handshaking. And maybe it's time we go back to. Sorry, that was the lock. That's the other button. That's that one. I gotta go back to i3 why not that was the idea alt n I like the, the wallpaper just want to see a new one alt n another one alt n another one thanks variety thanks wallhaven to provide these wallpapers that I have not put any energy in to, for, for looking for them and it's there so I can still click just like that 
Steam. That's not a bad question. Can we install Steam on Linux Mint? So if you're wondering, we're still on Linux Mint. <laughs> yes, we are. And then um, Linux Mint Steam. How to install and use Steam on Linux Mint. LinuxMint.com. All right. Steam client, Steam on Linux Mint, installing Steam, update, 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 we've updated. Now install Steam, ha! Huh. Oh my God, I should just have tried it. So you have to install Steam. Yeah. Okay. I would have found it without internet, if I thought about it. Anything else? The Synaptic Package Manager. I'm a GUI guy. Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> the other way around. I'm a terminal guy. I'm not a GUI guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Super Shift D. Steam. That's the only word. Okay. Updating Steam. How much do I still have left in my virtual machine? Free space, nine gigabytes. Okay, no problem. Inkscape is already installed. GNU is already installed. Mm, flame shot. I love my flame shot. Moving to somewhere else. Super F2. Control T. App install. No, sudo app install. Get away, sudo that install, and then flame shot, flame. Oh, yes, got my flame shot. Okay, I see what's happening. No, I won't create a virtual. Flames hot and flame shot is not the same thing. And then we launch it, flame shot. And then we have this icon. And then we say, we are working on, um, let's see, bash 5.0, 2,208 packages. It's just about the amount I have on my machine, more or less. I've been at it one hour and 43 minutes and are we on VirtualBox and we have kernel 5.4 and it's Minday Gray and your XPT with model space and Intel i7 and voila. And then you save it. You have a beautiful image to show to people. Don't like this thing here, the color, but that's probably tweakable. So, Mm hmm anything else it's easy to make switches right balena etcher hmm. burning things well we don't need it frankly we don't need it why we have usb usb image writer is mint stick on other links we use mint stick application so linux mint is on our machines yes it is simple as that Would I miss anything? That's what is in my mind when I go over this. Maybe Atten and Visual Studio, maybe, you yeah. So you do backup, install Visual, and let's see what we have. No Visual Code. How about Code? The name Code. Code Blocks, Code Deck, Code Blocks, Code, 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 Code. No. How about Atom? No. Atom mix, atom four maybe. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Atom four. Nope. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, it's player one, player two. Your turn. Uh, it's is it uh, changing colors? Nope. Don't get it. Whatever. I'm not a gamer. My brain is not wired for games at all. Okay. All right. 
add my visual code where is Linux Mint Atom Linux Mint Atom I thought it was with apt install. I tried it, didn't I? Dot slash. Something may have gone wrong. So it's just download and install. Okay. From where do you have the link? Yes. Dep. And wait for it. Click. And then we open the terminal here. Could not launch preferred application for terminal emulator okay so you go pattern minus s xfc4 terminal oh pacman ah have to install xfc4 terminal that's not correct voila I've got my XFC terminal. F12 is working. <laughs> I've got my terminal. F12. <laughs> right mouse click, open terminal, and then um, sudo apt install the atom thingy. So it doesn't do that, it doesn't auto complete. Don't really need to type everything in. A and D. Dot tap. Yeah, I really need to type it in. Okay. All right. So if that's Atom, let's go to support F3. Open up Vivaldi. Not a browser. And then Linux Mint. Visual Studio Code. There's a free reservoir, how to install. Accept all. Dep. So apt install code. Oh, really? F2, control A, control C, escape, control shift B. Atom is installed, Atom is launched. I'm still missing my auto tiling. Now it tiles eh, in three pieces horizontally. I like it, it's, it's, it's yeah, <laughs> the other way around. So is it code? Let's see. It is called Super F, full screen. Dark is good. Mm -hmm. Next section. Uh, mark done or what? Voila. And then you can set your languages Python or something. Et voilà. You can install some extensions, install Python extensions for Visual Studio Code. Yes, no, it's installing, it's installed. Super F, back small, quitting it, 
quitting it, quitting it, and quitting it. We're back to Atom. Okay, we have our editors, Sublime Text, Atom, Genie will probably be there as well, and Atom and Visual Studio Code. What else? That was development. Mm, our Git ahead would be, we would miss it. So Control Alt uh, Super Shift D. I'm gonna try out Google Chrome now, and then we're gonna look for Git ahead download. Okay, understand your Git history. Fine, download. It's what an SH. Okay. So that's something different. We've installed all of these. Keep. So an SH, open with text editor, open with other application. Let's use Visual Studio Code. Okay, open. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run all of that. And the question is, do we trust to run all of that? We don't know. There is just gibberish in there, so we don't know. Open a terminal. Oh, I switched from tiling, I see. Ah, let's just kill, it, kill everything that's simpler. Apply. And then the downloads. Let's see what happens. It's not executable yet, so LL. It's not executable, it's R V R V R V R W F. So <clears throat> I can do a schmutz plus X, but I can also do a this. If you want to stop extracting, please control C by default will be installed in downloads. That's a strange place to download. Whatever. Now we got this. All right. Let's do an LL first. Yes, they are already executable. strange way of installing things but we got it it's working just don't want it in my downloads I just want it somewhere else maybe opt or something we can move everything oh right mouse click do we have open as root we don't let's go to Arconix and grab everything steal steal oh Ctrl Alt G, Chromium. Every time another browser. So, GitHub of Arch Linux. Uh huh. Yahoo. XFCE. Super F3, or Super 3, sorry. And then go in config, Thonar, Thonar, UCA, XML. No, don't open with a browser. You stupid. Yeah, a woman. From the video, right? Don't have anything against women. It's just a line from Alabalo. Control save. Okay, so we've copy pasted everything over. Let's log out login. No, don't need to. As long as I kill Thunar. Thunar minus Q, you're dead to me. Voila. And then open up Thunar again. Let's kill some stuff here. This one, that one, that one. And I'm 
I've got them all. So I want to get, I want to get the downloads. The download, where is the download? I want to get this thing somewhere else. This is not the place. Control X. Where is the place? Anything in opt is cool. There is already other guys. Right mouse click, open folder as root. That's why it got it. That's why I got it. That's not working. Open file as root. Let's see what's behind it. PKExec. We don't have PKExec. PKExec. Huh. Uh, yeah. We're on. Uh, it's time I fix this, right? We're on i3. This would work on XFCE. Ah, true. Okay, let's have a look. So, Control C, PKL I3. What's happening in my mind? Linux Mint is launching some way of knowing who's who, right? The poll kit. And when we press Control Shift Escape, we don't get what I want. We don't get the task manager, the system monitor. There is in here some kind of poll kit. Now we know it's the poll kit GNOME authentications that it's running. Uh, open the files maybe. So poll kit GNOME authentication agent one. That's the one I need to launch in i3. because I can go to home and go to the downloads, control C, file system, opt, 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 right mouse click, open as root, and then copy paste this in here. So git ahead is already there. And git ahead is working. So anything you put in opt, good place to put stuff in there that are not installed automatically or you've built it yourself, you've written it yourself, good place to put it there. Ooh, the time, 52 minutes. And then I would like to figure out the poll kit again. The poll kit, so log out. Go back to i3, it's beautiful, yeah? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. I really am gonna switch. This is so nice. And then, bulk it. So, sublime this time again. Subla. And close without saving. Open me the file from Control H. The dot config. I3. Config. Open. Control find. Pocket. Aha! Uh -huh. It does launch something. It, it starts the pocket GNOME, but maybe there's another path, right? So, is there a user? Lip. Yes. Is there a pull kit? Uh huh. Policy kit. One GNOME. So, that's the URL. This is the correct URL. Well, pathway. Okay. Control Shift C. Launch me this thing. Yeah, I see it now. The difference is here the policy kit one GNOME, and here it says policy kit GNOME. That's the difference. Uh, the ampersand can stay so, like so. Control V. Damn it. I can't do Control C, Control V or UXVT. That's why. So, user lib policy kit, policy kit, not poll kit, policy kit. One. Ha! Ah. Key is not working. Okay. Policy kit. Gnome, that's correct. 
Apple Kit GNOME Authentication Agent 1. I think it's correct now. Control save. Let's check again. Okay. And then Super X is not going to work. So to log out and exit, we have exit. How to exit? Ah, control Alt X, Control Alt X. I've, I've made a backup system. Control Alt X. We're never using that anymore. We're using Super X and Arch Linux. But if you're on Linux Mint, Control Alt X. Hibernate, reboot, shutdown. So log out L. And then again log in. And then Control Shift Escape. Oh, that's not working. Control Shift Escape is not working. So that's the task. It's not Task Manager. It's System Monitor. System config printer system. Oh, a lot of system things. I would have thought system monitor or something. GNOME system monitor. The GNOME system monitor. Polkit. So we're using, yes, it's launched the Polkit GNOME Ethic authentication. Uh, how do we know if it's launched when we do this, I think, right? Voila, now we've got a pop-up. Otherwise, we stick, we stuck inside the terminal and no pop-up came and then patat, we're in there. Awesome. I hope I have taught you many things because now the story of Linux Mint is for me finished. No surprises anymore. No things to do, think about. I've got my gaps. It's working and that's great, right? The config, you just take the config from Arc Linux, Sarch Linux, Ubuntu Linux, Mint. You just take it with you and everything is going to work just fine. Some minor adjustments here and there. But basically, everything works fine. I'm looking at my icons here. So, Flame Shot, we have it. Variety, we have it. In sync, it works. Simple screen recorder. Hmm. Can I record on Linux Mint sudo at install simple screen recorder? And what other people probably want to know. Uh, OBS Studio, that's the other one. And all the rest, keep off. What else? Dropbox has been installed. That's simple, that's simple. That's our installer. No, we forgot all the icons. Well, we don't have our conkeys, but you might be amazed about what I'm gonna say, but that's super unimportant conkeys. <laughs> it really is, it's just nice to have, but basically it's not important. We got Google Earth if we wanted, so you don't apt install because we added a repo from Google we've got also Google Earth Pro Stable let's try it out on a virtual machine my god indeed no I don't think I can I would miss I wouldn't miss anything got it all now blank maybe yeah, blank maybe. So Google Earth, let's have a look. Google Earth. I can't seem to stop using it. It means it's a great OS. Go and have a look. May it inspire you to become less independent of OSs. But be inventive of all that. You, you see me do strange things. So let's go to the capital of oh, Brussels. Yeah. And have a look at Atomium. A, a strange thing. A kind of carbon atom, I think it's called. It's near here somewhere. Can't even see it. How is that possible? Hmm. 
must be mistaken. Sintjans Molenbeek, Sintjans Jossen. Come on, the Atonium, Atonium, Brussels. Search. That's the thing I'm looking for, yeah. I thought we could zoom in, click it and zoom it in. It's, it's not, not anymore, we can't zoom. We get this. Click, 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 I'm clicking like hell. But I want to zoom in there. Sure. I'll have to look it for look for it for myself. It's great how fast this is. Even on virtual machine, this is just going great. Huh? Just wants to zoom out from time to time. It's a bit awkward for the rest. Here is the ring, dames and heren. So, so now we speak a little bit Dutch. Here is the ring, the ring rang Brussels. And if I can find Other days I find it instantly, and now I'm struggling to find it. How stupid is that? Sintagata Berchem, yeah. Google Lord, Brussels. Oh my god, I think I need to get new glasses. I'm just giving up because it's making the video longer and longer and longer and longer, and that's not the point. Hi, damn it, stupid thing. <gasps> How about that? Another wallpaper, thank you, from wellhaven.cc. Wellhaven, oh, no, it's a zero probably. W, Q, M, P, O. Go and have a look. Um, I wasn't finished, right? Google Earth, that was one thing. I wasn't finished. I thought of something else. What was it? I uh, remember the conky is not important, not gonna waste time on that. I saw something in here. Ah, the plank, that was it. Control T, sudo apt install plank. So we've got plank. Now, plank is not nice in the sense it's not nice for Control Alt X, logout. It's not nice for i3. It rarely is on tiling window managers. But again, it's um, Linux, meaning it's freedom, it's choice. You choose to use Plank on your system in an i3. I rather use it on sites inside uh, Plank, voila, inside a desktop. All right, here already at the bottom. Preferences to the top, my friend. And I want to have it icon zoomed like this. And this is the default GK plus and mate and transparent. Hmm. None of them I like. So I'm gonna steal. Control Alt, we have done Firefox with F as Firefox, V is Vivaldi, G is Google Chrome. I mean they're all browsers. And let's go for you guessed it, Arclinux GitHub. Basically telling you how to steal. All the playing themes, user share playing themes. Download the zip. And then extract the zip. And then Actually, I can do this, Control C, file system, right mouse click, open as root, Control Shift V, user, yes, 
merge share yes merge blank yes merge and teams merge right mouse click preferences transparent oh my god i've got a few more let's first get rid of all that new wallpaper since this is not nice i need to have a dark wallpaper ah variety is not launched blank will not be launched either so startup applications tell them next time around plus custom command blank blank add so next time we boot we have plank available and variety is probably not there as well yes it is delay with 20 seconds so that's good but we don't have that's why i always grab at my keyboard shortcuts but the keyboard shortcuts in linux mint are not there shortcuts of linux mint custom shortcuts add blank uh sorry uh, variety 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 next command is variety next add unassigned alt n voila alt n let's get another wallpaper that's better okay so let's go over them at the beginning there was apollo and there was arc and i stopped reading My life can be simple, right? I was just thinking how easy it is to have an operating system that you can work on. That's, that's, that's going to be your daily driver. You tweak it any way you see fit. And that what's other operating systems, you know, which ones I'm talking about, do not have. The feeling that it's yours, that it can be themed and tweaked. This is nice. Anyway, you like. Almost done. Zombie. What's this? Zombie? Zombie queen. Okay. All right, nice with blue with the white icons. We don't see anything, right? But otherwise, it will be nice and beautiful. Still not finished. It's around 18, 90 teams I've gathered over the years, created some of them. Super easy, super fun, by the way. All on my tutorials on YouTube. Eric Dubois is the name. Voila, as the last one of the list. And um, one hour and 80 minutes is quite a time, quite an amount of time already. So Plank was my last thing that I saw. Hey, we should have that. Stacer is not important. Git ahead works, yes, we've moved it. Melt, ooh. I would be nothing without my melt. Eric, how did you not think about that? A head, a head, not a head, a melt. I was still thinking about the head. Git a head, huh? Yes, I need my melt. Without it, it would be lost. It's the only application that I say, I wanna pay for that, really is. Without it, it would cost hours if not I mean that's not okay although yes it's okay it's a little strange because it's a a circle there but that's all 
No, that's really one the one application that I would say I would like that. That's celluloid and that's celluloid. Uh-huh. Okay. Bye. Um melt. We covered that. Melt is available. That was in development. Mm -hmm. Melt. So BIM text, visual code, we got it. Games, we got Steam. Graphic, we got Inkscape, we got GIMP, Flameshot, Document Viewer, GIMP, uh, PDF kind of thing. It's not that important, but yeah, we need to read from time to time PDFs. Let's do it the other way around. Let's do it this way. No, wrong button. Do it this way. PDF. Events, QPDF, QScan, PDF scan. Mm -hmm. Probably go for the ones you know already, right? I've made an icon for this guy. That's how I recognize these things. I rarely install this one, so I'm gonna do this one. Events is the one I think we use. It just opens the PDF, right? That's all it needs to do. It just needs to be there. It's it's important, but it's what tool you use is not important. So we got something. Ah, yeah, Brave. Is Brave available? Control T. The other day I gave somebody a tip. He wanted to have um, VPN possibilities. Some of us in this globe are restricted by countries and um, internet service providers and all that. And sometimes you need to have a VPN or something like that. So Brave, I guess, Brain Party, we can have that. We can, um, we can't get it like that. So we're gonna say Linux Mint, Brave. And let's see, actually we could have done that as well. Let's do that as well and see how that's working out for us. Brief. Nope, not gonna work. So brave.com, browser, download, uh, brave for Linux. Uh, okay, so this is my tip. Well, maybe I do something interesting for you guys. Copy. What's interesting, that's making scripts. Next time around, when I have a Linux Mint installation to do, what can I do? I can put everything I did inside scripts. So I'm going to create a script, test.sh. I'm going to put in here the things I find online. Copy, paste, sudo apt install, app transport, HTTPS curl. Then it's going to curl something, it's going to get some information, the keyring, GPG keyring. Then it's gonna add stuff to the list, to, to the sources list. And it's gonna update and gonna install. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it every single time. Right mouse click, good question, Eric. Right mouse click. Look what I'm gonna do now. This is Nemo, love Nemo. But got Tunar as well, love Tunar too. Right mouse click, make executable. Open terminal. Oh, that's the XFC, I guess. Let's see if we can figure that out. Open terminal, open terminal. Alacrity, yeah, Alacrity is not available. We'll fi figure out Alacrity later. So I can't do a right mouse click here. But I can do it here. LS. Okay, so test is H. LL. Open it up. I often do that. It's not save it. Control S. Ah! I often do that. And then we install Brave. Then I'm gonna look for Alacrity. Fail to fetch, that's not good. And uh, that's in sync. 
So, still things to figure out. Sherlock Holmes. Seems to be clear sky, but I really haven't looked outside yet. <laughs> That's being a nerd. Uh, nice weather. Oh, okay. So, Brave is out of the closet. That's working. I like Gritty. Oh my god. That's still open. Linux Mint a la Gritty. Requires the most recent runs Rust compiler to install it, and oh my god, right? There is Snapcraft, install a Gritty Linux with the Snap Store. But you know me, snaps. Mm. If I can avoid them, I will avoid them. Arch Linux Fedora Debian. Ach so. So Control Shift C. No, no Shift. Control C. Control Shift V. Adding that to the repositories. Oh, look at that. Actively maintained your Ubuntu PPA for Alacrity from the Pop OS team. Oh, we know something more. We've learned something. Okay. And then we do sudo apt update with the insync thingy. Don't mind that. Sudo apt install Alacrity. There she is. I don't know why, but in my mind it's a she. So if I open Thunar again, right mouse click, open terminal here, it's gonna open Alacrity for you. So now I am really all set, right? I am so set. But it is not transparent. So I need to go inside the configuration. I wonder, I have a what if guys, I have a what if. I wonder if I go to Arch Linux, GitHub, Alacrity, and I got the configuration we have. Will that work? Make this bigger. So this one, this one. Roll. Control A, Control C. Control H. Um, yeah, okay, Control H. And then folder, folder, folder. Alacrity already there? No. Alacrity. And then, was it alacrity.com or just alacrity? Let's see. YML. 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 Voila. Double click. Control V. Control Save. And then Control Alt. Let's make a keyboard shortcut. Keyboards, custom sh keyboard shortcut, add custom keyboard shortcut, alacrity, alacrity, add, unassigned, double click, control alt, enter, nah, control alt, enter, is alacrity, ooh, the fonts are a bit off, so I guess I don't have the font, still not transparent though. My URXVT is transparent. Yeah, that's transparent. No, it's GNOME Terminal. Whoops, GNOME Terminal. Control T, URXVT. That is transparent as well. 
So it's just Alacrity that's not transparent. Okay. I'm missing my keyboard so much. Sorry, another one, another keyboard that I need to get inside. Ah oh yeah, first transparency, transparent. Background opacity does say something. C6, control, enter. For some reason it's not. And in fonts, fonts are but ugly. So I need a font. Where are our fonts in the beginning? Next. Font is hack. Is there a font called hack available? So you go apt install. I am having so much fun. I can't stop this video. Sorry, guys. It'll be a little bit longer. Hack does it exist? TTF, TTF, TTF. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then hack, hack, hack. Free. There's lots of stuff. And another possible thing is. FNT, I guess. Font, no. How about font? Too much font. Ah, yes. Pum, 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 pum. More. 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 Fonts hack. OTF. Fonts hack TTF. Okay. So hack fonts hack. Let's see what we get if we do that. Control Alt Return. I think that's better, right? My font is now present. I'm using Anacrity. It's not transparent though. <laughs> that's something. I'm not gonna investigate. But, but, if I would investigate it, I would like to investigate settings. Where would I go? Hmm. Transparent. Hmm. Window. No, oh, I don't know where to go to. It will be a Google search, probably. So our Alacrity is nice, is beautiful. Though not transparent. It might be all because of the fact that we're on virtual box. We can know that. Can know that we can log out we can go to i3 and in i3 we use Compton now my control alt enter is here still urix vt but I can do an a la critty voila so hey I thought we had transparency Inside a th uh, i3. Mm. Control Alt X. Restart. I broke my transparency somewhere down the line.
Gumpfig. Ah ja, it was Gnome. Gnome System Monitor. Is Compton running? Compton is not running. All right. It's transparent again. That's the reason. This is your XVT. And that too. Alacrity is not transparent. So something is, is amiss with Alacrity. And it's not a contents mistake or the XFC mistake. That's how we analyze and I keep on looking. Enfin, I think I'm gonna finish the video. But we were here. Internet. We were Wolf, I won't miss it. Steam, Telegram, Telegram and Discord. Mm, we would miss Telegram and Discord. All right, there we go again. Super F2. Well, actually, let's first try a pseudo, pseudo Pac-Man, yeah, Eric. And then Discord. Misery, misery, misericordia, see. Telegram. Ah, there is a Telegram. Awesome. Hey, what's Telegram purple? That's one thing less to do. Telegram kicks in. Fine. Yeah, I kick you out. And then that purple thing, what's that? Something happened to my machine, but what it did, I don't know. Telegram purple. We'll have to look it up. And I'm not gonna. Discord, how do we install Discord? Linux Mint, Discord. <clears throat> Discord me. Hmm. Voila, join the server if you want to. But it's how to install, I want to do. Method one, depth files. Always best thing, get the depth files. So we know the drill now. Discord, official website, download for Linux, that please. Click, click. We've got our Discord, right mouse click, open terminal. Oh, do like do miss the auto tiling sudo <laughs> apt install and then discord now i find this strange why do i have to type everything i can't do this discord this is boring with all my typos I make. Given on command line, unsupported file. Yeah, that's what I mean. Eh? I read everything wrong. Voila. Discord, where art thou? I am on your computer. Compiling, installing. Don't know about you, but I feel I'm all set. I can just switch over and jump into Linux Mint. If this opens, ah, it's on number two. You see, red thing, it's there. Then you log in. Anything else? 
So, we got our Telegram, we got our Discord and all that. Not important, multimedia, we have VLC and we have Hypnotics, we have that as well. Peak, yeah, from time to time it's interesting to show people. Simple screen record, install Spotify. So, okay. Peak, do we have Peak? Sudo apt install Peak. Sudo apt install Peak. Voila, boom, and we've got peak. So I do have the feeling that the repositories are getting more and more better. I mean, the general, yeah, how do you say that? The stream, the, the main uh, applications, the, the streamline applications, how do you say that in English? Uh, they're there, right? VLC is there. This we haven't looked at because the download was not available with a PDF downloader. Of course, we don't have any of our tools, nor will they work. We can have to fix hard coded icons here as well. Grub customizer that might be important for some people if you have more than one operating system grub customizer really rocks there is grub invader as well <laughs> this so this is the one i mean and it's a great tool because it lets you edit your grub basically voila but when you have a more than one installation it says ubuntu rather than linux mint when you have um, more than one operating system on your on your hard disk or SSD or NVMe, you get more lights. And the the ticket the, the the tip is for the Windows guys: first install Windows, let it have everything. Don't do anything. Give it a whole hard disk. Secondly, install one Linux Mint or Linux. Uh, OS and let it do its thing most installers can make the mint partition smaller and put the Linux behind it but then you need this application later on because then Linux will say I'm the one booting up and most of the time people want to boot up with Windows and sometimes with Linux so it's here you say that you move it up and so on the videos on Arch Linux websites where you move up a line from here to here and in here you say predefined first entry so all you need to do is move your windows at the first line and then you save done nothing more than that it's that simple if you have the graphical user interface called grub customizer et voila So there was a tool that we got here. The conkeys that's the only thing I haven't really I did not do. Did you notice that we have also a QT5 settings? See? Linux Mint. QT5 CT. Okay. With some errors well we got it ah it's gonna load longer i think sometimes it does that voila there it is kill 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 Ooh, nice wallpaper alt n another wallpaper so i uh, really at the end of my story one hour 34 minutes eric you're wasting your time. No, it's fun. It's, this is this is fun. Linux is fun. Virtual box, virtual machine. Yeah. No, we've done it all. I have to stop. I have to stop playing. Nice. No gonna stop I'm not gonna stop playing I've got another wave 
I was thinking about conkeys, so I won't tackle conkeys. But these guys have something as well. At Desklets. At Desklets. Download Desklets. Weather Desklets. Disk Space Desklets. Manage. Put it on there. Put it on there. Move it around and about. We're in London. Okay. Downloads, analog chronometer, simple system recorder. Let's look at all that. Okay. This one, add. If that's so important for you to get some information, you can do it like this. Yeah, who finance battery level, maybe for the laptop guys. Oh my God, COVID-19, India, quick stats. How did that get in here? What's this? Mintu, the Mint Assistant, your friendly assistant. What's that? I can't move it. Uh, I want to move you. You're not at the right place. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I locked myself out. I think I just saw a button. <laughs> Quote of the day, if you like that. Another co eh? Double one? Enfin. Popularity, that's one thing. Install date, upgradable. General settings. Borderline only. No decoration. Much better. Much better. Good thinking. Good thinking indeed no decoration to the grid i think that's important that everything is a little bit organized this is me exiting what's this reload ah restart that's exits lock and log out log out all right just wanted to share that as well that there are some lovely things in there. I can add also stuff in here. Right mouse click, applets. And that's that. Downloads. So a desklet, an applet. No die names. Spices update. Oh, they stole our name. Spices. When you want you when installed spices, applets, desklets, etc. Okay. Redshift is here. Is that working? It's often not working. It is. That's why we kicked it out of our repo. It is often not working. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That's great. If it works. If it works. All right. This time I'm stopping the video. One minute 39. One hour 39 minutes. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Ah, don't love what I'm seeing. I still need to make an icon for Alacrity, I see. So, good that I found that. So I'll make some more icons. But I'll do that outside of the video. Enjoy Linux. Enjoy Linux Mint. Enjoy Manjaro, enjoy EndeavorOS, enjoy working on a free operating system built by hundreds of people. Thanks to Linus, Linus Torvalds years ago, we've got kernel, we've got drivers, we've got everything we need. We've got tools, we've got developers, we've got an awesome system and we can say goodbye to a certain other operating system. Enjoy Linux Mint. Cheers.